I'm back. Heading to Mr. Garadov's room now. Get myself settled in here again. Howdy do. Same day on specified time, Landlord Garadov's room. Oh, you're back, Garadov san. <sighs> Going out into town on this bad leg of mine is too much for an old man like me. Are you at the courthouse? Of course, the fate of my lodging house hinges on that trial. I guess that. I guess the place kind of gotten a name for itself as a cursed lodging house. Well, it's caused a stir around London several times before. As a cursed lodging house. Right. So he's aware of it. What on earth is going on here? It's bothering me on multiple levels. That's true. Now that I think about it, two days ago, in the first incident Soseki-sama got wrapped up in, Garadav-sama himself got summoned to court because he was involved. I stopped by the detention center on my way home from the courthouse. That's so. Oh, poor Joan. So, oh, what do you want with this cursed landlord? Ah, oh, jo John. John. Poor John. You want some soap, buddy? Uh, about the boarding house. So, oh, we've got a suspicious oriental exchange student and a suspicious washed up actor, huh? This boarding house has become quite the weirdo magnet lately. Thanks to these rumors about a curse. You mean, the death row inmate Selden? Yeah. So you not so you lot know about it already, do you? About the death row inmate was after the death row inmate was caught, the boarder who lived in his room after him suffocated to death. And five days ago, that woman died in front of the lodging house. And yesterday, that washed-up actor was killed. It'll be me next. I can't help worrying, that's what'll happen, and I'm at the end of my rope. Oh, poor John. By the way, when you refer to the woman, do you mean Viridian-sama? Viridian-san was stabbed in the back, out in the, out in the walkway, and Potensi-san was slipped poison last night, but they're both alive and kicking right now. And that damn ro death row inmate curse is alive and kicking now, too. Personally, I think you ought to be pleased about this. Bath, toilet, fireplace, and spooky history. All included. Sounds like a luxury package to me. I'm not so sure about that. Our rooms don't have attached baths, toilets, or fireplaces for starters. So, you've been indirectly keeping watch over your lodgers, right? By watching the dancing of the gas flames. Well, I suppose you could say that. Don't want anything to happen to them, after all. Something did happen to them! Uh, something did happen to them, though. <laughs> Would you maybe shut up for a bit, Homesan? Oh, my! Begging your pardon! Lodgers. So, we've got a suspicious Oriental Exchange student and a suspicious washed-up actor. You don't have to keep repeating that. So, besides, Soseki-sama isn't suspicious. Well, I think the important point is that he's an odd bird. Well, apparently he did come and rent the empty room, right after the previous owner had died. Yes, I, he showed up the very day that I approached the real estate office with my ad. I suppose I could say that that was the first time I'd seen someone who was so enthusiastic about the place's history. I think it was less the history that he was enthusiastic, and more the cheapness of the rent. Come to think of it, when did Potensi Sama come to this boarding house? Oh, that wash-up actor. As I recall, 
Oh, right. It was three months ago. There's no mistaking it. Three months ago, huh? That's surprisingly recent. Why are you so certain, Mr. Landlord? Yes, well, that's because of that Selden broke. Selden? You mean that death row inmate? Selden and Potency. What on earth could their connection be? They like a dual partner criminal or something? Potency's moving. Three months ago, the death row inmate Selden died of an illness in his cell. Yes, the very thing was written in the newspaper. The wash-up actor appeared three days after all that. Oh? The events of that day left a deep impression on me. That just goes to show what a small world this is. That's all, Miss Master Gerardem. The one interested in renting out your second floor room is poor Potency. Oh, I'm so sorry to have to tell you this, but that won't be possible. Selden's treasure may be in the sec- the room in the second floor? And he's trying to get it, I'm assuming. I already have a larger living on the second floor. The room on the first floor is available if you want. Nothing is born from nothing. Would you care to say that once more? Like I said, I can't give you the second floor. The first floor is available, though. Very well. Let us make the contract. Glad to hear it. I look forward to having you as a... Potency dance! Uh. What? Oh my... Judging by what I heard at the trial today, apparently he was a gas thief, though. He's about three months behind on his rent, too. He's what you called a trashy actor, see? That's quite an interesting story. Thank you, Mr. Landlord. Allow me to express a small word of thanks from me as well. Give me a robe and put on my crown. Huh? What was that? What was that animation he just did too? Where did that come from? Huh? Obviously, it's one of Mr. Shakespeare's famous lines. I just thought it would be a good time to show how wonderfully cultured I was. Next time, why don't you pick a line that makes a little more sense? Present that photo, I guess. Here we go. Could you have a look at this photo for us, Mr. Garadev? The young man in this photo, is he your son? Oh no, he was a boarder, Mr. Duncan Ross. Duncan Ross? There just happened to be a street photographer passing through, so we had him take a picture. So this boarder, is he the one who used to live in Soseki-sama's room? Aye, yes he was. Well, the one who died a strange death in a room in this lodging house was him. And then Mr. Mustache appeared as though he'd been waiting for his death. <laughs> yes, Mr. Ross lived here before the Japanese man came. If you don't mind, could you tell us more about him? The border's death. Duncan Ross was a hard-working student who was supporting himself through art school. After the death row inmate was arrested a year ago, he lived in the empty room on the second floor. That hard-working student was looking for a room with a history. So hard his eyes would shot blood. Shot red? Oh. Oh. I think you mean they were shot bloodshot. <laughs> okay, good. I'm like, was that intentional? Yes, it is. Then it happened one morning a month ago. I had yet to form the habit of checking on my lodgers using the lamp flames. So I was a bit late discovering the incident, but I noticed the smell of gas fumes. That turned out to be the scent of death. So I called the police, we broke down the door, and we went we got inside. 
We unintentionally fell to our knees and collapsed on the scene. Because of the gas? And yes, that room was full of gas fumes. Apparently, while he was sleeping, the flame in his gas stove went out. Duncan Ross has suffocated. It's true that the gas pipes were old. The police scolded me for it. Placing all the gas pipes in the house was quite an ordeal. But Soseki-san ran into the room after the renovation. He said this. The flame in my gas stove went out while I was sleeping. What happened after that was the death throat inmate's curse. I can't be blamed for that. There he goes again. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Forgotten what? The night before Duncan Ross died, apparently he written a love letter. D did you say a love letter? Uh, let's see. Where did I put that? Ah, here it is. This was spread out on his desk. Pardon me, Philbert. Let's see. What do we have here? To my incredibly cute and lovely darling. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure how to feel about you just reading someone else's love letter. That's why I excuse myself first by saying, pardon me, Miss Susano. That's not the issue here. Unfortunately, there was no recipient address written. That's why I still have it here. I see. I'm kind of curious who he was writing to. However, the one Duncan Ross-sama had feelings for has nothing to do with this case. Does it really? Maybe she does. I, I've, Dunkey may have been written to... That letter might have been written to Viridian. She might have a role in this later. I have a feeling. That's because it's Ace Attorney. So I don't believe we need to investigate that. Well, I guess you have a point. It's true! There's no recipient address written here, but... There's the name of my darling written here. Like I said, Homesama, reading someone's private letter is... With the burning embers of my love, to you, my Viridian Green. Oh, okay, so we were right. Huh? D did you say Viridian Green? The first victim, who five days ago was stabbed in the back out on the walkway in front of his boarding house, fell into a coma and finally regained consciousness yesterday. And now her name is coming up here. Is it a coincidence? Tarahodo-sama, what does this mean? This is precisely why I can't stop reading other people's letters! <laughs> oh boy. Well, interesting enough, we're gonna go see Viridian now. Thanks, Mr. Garadev. I'm very sorry at the same time. Oh, I know that song too. From that CD. What kind of Pokemon are you? And all these other good stuff. Same day, unspecified time, St. Bartholomew's Hospital. Uh, the hospital room. Nanahoto-sama, I just spoke to the doctor. He says Viridian-sama will be released from the hospital soon. What's wrong? Viridian son. What? What was that about? It looked like she hit something behind her back. One moment, please. I'll be right with you. Oh my, it's you lot. What brings you all here together like this? I'm about to release, so, um, I was getting ready to go home. Um, what were you doing just now? Uh, oh, nothing. 
I was just about to drink some medicine that the doctor gave me. Actually, we were hoping to talk to you again. But I don't think I have anything else to I can tell you. Guardian son. There's obviously something strange about her. Let's see what we can get out of her. This is the bottle Viridian Sun was just trying to drink from. It looked like she was thinking hard about something. Maybe the medicine was bitter. I'm not good at taking medicine either. Is that right? If the doctor gives me three days worth of medicine, I always end up taking it all in one go. Huh? I mean, it's just, isn't it better to just get unpleasant things over with one, within one go? Sama is the one I should be worried about right now. That's what I'm wondering about. I'm not so sure about that now. About your release. I'm glad to hear you're able to leave the hospital. Yes, thanks to you. Someone like me should be kicked out immediately as soon as she's healthy. I don't think I really have time to be having a conversation. It doesn't sound like she really wants to talk to us. Man, this girl is so depressed. What the? You know, if there, if she was in love with Duncan and he died, I can see why. But wow, she is so. Meridian son, there's something we'd like to ask you about. Do you know someone named Duncan Ross son? Uh. Oh. Uh. I'm so sorry. Her me her bottle of medicine fell on the floor. Meridian Sama, are you all right? Is that Pepto Bismol? <laughs> it was so pink. I apologize for startling you. Oh, no, I'm fine. More importantly, how on earth did you know about Duncan? The landlord of his old boarding house had a letter he'd been working on. It appeared to be a love letter, addressed to you, Viridian-sama. I was studying painting at an art school here in London. I met Duncan there a year ago. We worked as we studied to become artists. That's what we always said. Were you two dating? You and Duncan Rossama? Yes, we were. We head over heels. We were head over heels for each other. We even got engaged. <laughs> Duncan Rompa blood. <laughs> yeah. He decided to move into a cheap boarding house to save money so that we could get married. And he found Gerardo-san's boarding house. Yes. He said he found the cheapest, most ominous boarding house in the East End. After just one month, that happened. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's alright. It's over. Meridian Sama looks rather burdened all of a sudden. Oh, she's kind of on the round side to begin with, but anyway. I can I can feel her intense sadness from that burden posture of hers. Um, it might be conceited of me to say this, but uh may I be excused? I have to be going soon. Uh, I'm sorry for holding you up. In that case, we'll be Mr. Naruhodo! You're just gonna turn around and go home? I'm afraid I can't let you do that! What? Home, son! I didn't know you were here! Of course I'm here! I've been watching from the corner of the room! Don't just stand around watching, join us! Um, what do you mean, home-sama? 
Okay, it was it was for just a split second. I think the rat moved. You can just see it underneath the text. Oh my god. Here's what I always wondered, Mr. Sato. Why must detectives always only solve incidents to prevent an incident from happening in the first place? That's what makes a great detective, wouldn't you agree? Okay, the fact that Holmes said that and there's like, that looks like there's a dead rat over here. She tried to poison herself, I think. Prevent an incident. There's an incident lying in wait here, Mr. Notaholdo. And we're going to prevent it. With a little observation. Alright. That's the spirit. The clothes are right in front of you. You only need to direct your detention towards them. Let's see what we can find, Naruhodo-sama. Dead rat! Dead rat! This rat has gone belly up. It was fine just a moment ago. It looks like it may have lapped up some of the medicine that spilled out of the bottle. This is the medicine Viridian Sama was about to drink a moment ago. Can't be. It looks like you figured it out. You figured out the truth about the tragedy that was about to unfold here. Yeah, I think I have. The contents of the bottle you were carrying spilled out. And the poor rat who lapped them up has died. It looks like it was a powerful poison. I shall give this rat sama a proper burial later. Miss Green, did you want to end up like that rat? You would end your own life. Suicide. Suicide in an Ace Attorney game? If we'd left, would you have tried to drink that medicine again? No! no! Meridian Sama, please talk to us. Suicide. Holy crap. Oh, oh, that's real deep. Oh my god. Suicide. If our visit here had been even 10 seconds later, we probably wouldn't have been able to enjoy this pleasant conversation together. Well, maybe for you, this would be considered unpleasant. Actually, it's not. Somehow having my intention seen through makes me feel a little better. About this medicine, how did you get it? This is a hospital. When the doctor was checking me over this morning, he opened the lock in on the cabinet. So I quietly stole some. This bottle doesn't have a label on it. What on earth is inside? Actually, I don't really know. But I thought that if I drank it, it might make things easier, so to speak. Please, don't say such sad things. The contents of the bottle turn out to be a deadly poison. The poor rat Sam approved that with its own body. It's my fault. I've done something terrible. She's holding a key in her hand. Did you see that? I'll be taking this. I trust you don't mind, Miss Green. Yeah, she's got a key in her hand. No. Wow. 
about like fast timing. Jesus. A small card on the table somewhere. Guess I'm looking at this thing. I can't help wondering about this card. After all, just a moment ago, Meridian Song was standing there, holding this with a very serious air about her. It's true. This might have something to do with the incident that was lying in wait here. Perhaps we should hear what Viridian Sama has to say about it. Ah, though. The card. The envelope and the card have a recipient's name and address on them. I got it in the mail the day before the incident. I have... I have something to tell you about Duncan Ross's death. Come to the pub, Pepper Pavilion, on Briar Road, on the 17th at 5 p.m. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. That envelope. That envelope. I think we found the other half of this, or the rest of it. I have some very important information for you. Please be as discreet as possible about this. Wait a minute. February 17th was the exact day that you were stabbed on Briar Road, wasn't it? N not only that, but 5 p.m. was the exact time the incident occurred. Isn't that right? The Pepper Pavilion. That's on the northern corner of Briar Road, isn't it? Briar Road. That's the street Gyarados San's boarding house is on. So, does that mean you were. Yes, it's just as you thought. The day I was stabbed in the back, I was actually on my way to the Pepper Pavilion. Oh! Is that what you were doing on Briar Road that day? I'm sorry for not telling you. Anyway, now I really do have to go. I've told you everything I know. I'm so sorry to ask you about such painful things. No, it's okay. Um, Viridian Sama? Please. I beg you, don't ever do something like that again. I won't. The detective took my medicine away anyway. Besides... In spite of being stabbed in the back and trying to drink poison, I still managed to survive. I guess this must mean that I still have a destiny that I need to see through to the end. Maybe it's conceited of me, but that's the sense I'm getting. Ow. We left Viridian San's hospital room and decided to return to Baker Street with Home San. Looks like this is all the further our investigation will get us for today. Yeah, it's gotten totally dark out. So, what do you think, Mr. Narahodo? Did you manage to find any clues for tomorrow's trial? It seems like we still haven't gotten to the bottom of this case. Not about potency san or the boarding house, or the curse of the death row inmate Selden. That's the sense I'm getting. I'm curious about the test results. You must mean Soseki-san's tea. Yes, I wonder whether any... Strychnine was found in it. Well, regardless of what they found, I'm sure it'll be difficult to evade Reapy's grasp. Oh. Lord Baroque Von Zeeks. Well, all you can do is your best. 
I managed to sleep through everything today, but... I plan to make an appearance in court tomorrow for sure to support you two. Oh, Sama. I'm so glad to hear that. Yes, no matter what happens, I will definitely wake up in the morning. I think I've done everything I can. All that's left is to fight to the bitter end without averting my eyes from the truth. I wonder if it's because poison was one of like the biggest crime, the biggest, uh, people died a lot from poisons back then. I wonder if that's the reason. London is the world's most luxurious, luxurious imperial city. And has six million people flowing in and out of it. I could feel immeasurable loneliness on that street corner where that prestige doesn't reach. Soseki san has been battling that loneliness all alone all this time. So I'm going to fight for my countrymen. I'm going to cut him free of the curse he's suffering under. Tomorrow's the day. For sure. Continued.